Thankfully, the family was out of town when this happened to their barn and home, both right next to each other, both in the path of destruction. The house has got some damage, the deck's gone, the, the, the child uh, Cohen's play area is gone. All the trees are gone. Just lucky he didn't have more of his farm equipment in here. Midwest Energy reports that as many as 2,300 homes lost power after the storms hit, and they said they are working to restore that power. A statement provided by the National Weather Service read in part, Although the storms that caused all the problems has left our forecast area, we are expecting additional severe weather this afternoon and evening across portions of North Indiana and Northwest Ohio and are therefore unable to free up any staff today. Discussion has taken place about a possible survey tomorrow, but we will know more after we talk with EMA officials later today. You can see what damage has been done here, so we're just lucky. Nobody got hurt. Reporting from Michigan, Erica Jimenez, 16 News Now. Okay, Erica, we appreciate it. Let's turn things over now to First Alert Chief Meteorologist Matt Engelbrecht. Matt, let's talk about this morning's severe weather. Yeah, in fact, our first alerting you to it, uh, Andrew was watching this form over Lake Michigan and work to the east. And as it started to move to the east, start to take on uh, the characteristics that you'd find uh, with uh, a possible uh, tornado. Again, the National Weather Service putting it right there. Uh, chances are they're going to go survey the damage uh, for our Wednesday. A couple of things I want to pull out. Uh, every little circle is where we're getting damage reports coming in. The red is where that tornado warning was issued. I want to make note that this is very isolated, that outside of that that red. It was a it was a, a stormy day, but it certainly wasn't a severe weather one. The other part of this, the last time we had tornado warnings or a warning during the morning commute, you have to go back to 20. 10. So 2010 was the last time people were waking up to a tornado warning and trying to start their day during the eight o'clock hour. It was the first time we've had a tornado warning since 1998. So again, we talked about today being a little turbulent. Now we're expecting widespread severe weather and we haven't had that. We're actually going to be on the other side of this event the sooner rather than later, meaning lower humidity, lower temperatures and a much lower severe weather threat. We'll talk about it with your first alert weather forecast in 10 minutes.